um, that's never fun to have that weight on your back, you know? Um, and then again, you got to make decisions that will allow you to um, position yourself to get out of that debt as soon as you can and to never um, be back in that place. Well, let me see what's happening here. Let's see. All right, next question here. <clears throat> Let me see. What else you guys got? Someone says salary goal. I love it, but as a newly graduated student, do you limit yourself? Of course you limit yourself. Um, you know, I think that, again, as a newly graduated student, you want to also be thinking about what your ultimate what your ultimate goals are for yourself and where you're trying to get to. And think about it on a personal level, think about it on a professional level. So you can be intentional because now you're in the real world. And if there's a time when you need to limit yourself, the time is now. Um, because, you know, the world um, moves so fast. And I mean, the time is now as far as, like, you being a newly graduated student. Um I and mean, obviously being in this crazy time we're living in with COVID, <clears throat> you know, you want to really be smart about your decisions. And again, you know, think of your, your needs versus your wants. Um, I think that's so important. Um, it's so easy to be distracted and don't feel pressure from someone else that, you know, may be living life a certain way or like seeming like they're turned up and everything is all good and fabulous. And that's great. Um, you know, but you really want to live within your own means, like, I think that's the best thing that we could do is be confidently us, be confidently who you are and know that you're going to get to where you ultimately want to get to. You may not be where the person to your right or your left is or where you aspire to be, but you're going to get there and you got to believe in that and have faith in that. Uh, let me see here. What's our next question here? Someone says, I'm working on my credit. Do you feel that as an also important? Of course. I think it's very important. I can't lie. I was kind of one of those ones that <clears throat> from day one when I was young, I, was, I always took pride in having good credit, um, having great credit. Um, all those things. Again, it goes back to financial independence. Like I just always wanted to make sure I was at my, I was, you know, I was good um, financially. Um, and so... It is very important. It also allows you to get a lot of other things and, you know, certain type of, uh, it lets you, allows you to get the highest level of like, have the highest level of access and whether it's a certain kind of, you know, credit card um, that you want to have a level or, you know, all that good stuff or you want to make, you know, purchases of, of a certain magnitude, you know, having that good credit score is, is key. Um, let me see here. All right, here we go. What's my next question? All right, what's the next one, guys? Um, I'm going to see salaries on the Lord's pay. Lord's pay job and uh, I don't know, DMS. Um, okay, well, let me see, what else do we have here? <clears throat> How are you? Oh, it'd be so good, I love that. Someone asked me about doing a feature with Anita Elbers, my professor from Harvard, that would be amazing. I think that'd be really cool to do that too. She's pretty phenomenal. Um, oh. Okay, here. Oh, someone said tithe or not to tithe. I believe in tithing. Um, I think tithing is so good if you can do it. Um, you know, I feel like it's my way of giving back because I'm also giving back to the pastors that bless me and essentially bless others by being able to have a facility to um, give the word 
I think it's really important. And for me, I'm also, I'm also, I feel like I'm honoring God's word as well. And um, tithing feels good. I, you know, you, you can't be you're just crazy and just, you know, you gotta, you gotta have your balance right. You know, as far as when you're, you know, giving in that in that in that capacity. <clears throat> But I really believe um, in tithing. Uh, Kelly, Kelly Rollins in the building. She said, you know how I feel about tithing. Kelly, you you got to Miss Coffee Queen. First of all, can we just tell Kelly how amazing she looks in her coffee video? Why is she like just so beautiful? Like, and she works hard on her body, y'all. Like, Okay, I hope I said that right. But she like is a hardworking mama that gets it done. Um, so I just have to say that. I'm really proud of her because she never ceases to amaze me on how committed. No, I'm just keeping it real, Kelly. Kelly, she is a phenomenal woman. And I'm so proud of her. Her video coffee is super hot if you guys haven't seen it. It's just... It's just, it's just, I don't even know what you want to say. It's coffee. It's, it's that, mm, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's everything. Um, it's beautiful. It's powerful. Um, it's that, that sexy chocolate. Um, it's just amazing. Um, I'm just so proud of, um, proud of Kels, you know, um, she's a queen and she's showing us how to do it. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying, I just love it. So I know somebody said it's everything, um, but yes, <laughs> I had to go on that rant for a second because if you guys haven't seen the video, it's, it's just dripping in all kinds of just flavors of just good old good mm, chocolate coffee. Ooh. Um, I love you, Kels. Um, but she said here, tithe, we were talking about tithe or not to tithe. And she, I will say Kelly and I've talked about tithing and we have talked about you know, how much it means to us. And it is, um, it's really real. Like I do feel like you bless, you bless your life when you tithe, you bless the people that put into you when you tithe, um, you know, put into you by giving, by, by giving God's word. Um, you know, you you, um, it's just, a, it's a good feeling. So I enjoy it as well. And, um, I've been committed to it. I, I can say I've leveled up my tithing game. Um, I've been consistent with it and I'm really proud of it. Um, let me see. Oh, let me see here. What else have you got? All right, guys. I see anything else popping here. Um... <clears throat> Let me see here. All right, guys, this was good stuff. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun as I had um, chatting with you all about financial independence. I think it's so important for us to be financially independent. Um, ladies, I'm just saying, you know, I think we kind of level up our sexy when we're able to take care of ourselves and able to take care of our men sometimes too. Like being able to do nice things for them is fun. Um, Oh, thanks, Kales. <laughs> um, you know, I think it's important, you know, for us to be able to be all right. And then when you're in transitions and, you know, whether it's you in your single mom phase, whether it's in, you're in your relationship transition phase where you're trying to figure it out on your own, it just it's just no better feeling than being able to do for yourself and take care of yourself and not need anyone else. Um, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that chat today and, um, I love you guys. Shout out to my sister Kelly for hopping on here, but again, I'm going to close it out and say, you guys go check out coffee. Cause I think it's important that we close out with that sweet music note there. The video and the song is amazing. And I'm so proud of you Kells. and I love you guys and financial independence is hot. So you level up when you are financially independent. So I love you guys. I hope you have fun with me today. I'll see you all on next Women's Wednesdays. Hula, Women's Wednesdays. Okay, bye, y'all. <laughs>